somebody. Don't get choked out, Todd. Todd. I'm feeling it in my chest and my bicep. that we can't survive. people eat bugs and marry strangers for money. The attackers are a group of extremist vigilantes who prey on suspected gays. There's a white prom and then we have our integrated prom. And it's the first time uh, an Indian American has won the Miss America pageant. Women cannot handle power. technology. This year, the Arab world erupted as a generation of young people, no longer prepared to suffer in silence, rose up against the hated despots. The weapons of the activists of the so-called Arab Spring weren't guns and bombs, but the internet and the mobile phone. Unfortunate experience, but for one negative tweet, one negative post, comment, there were dozens of positive remarks and support. The organization's request for volunteers snowballed on social media. Twitter caught fire. More than 10,000 people signed up. You do something, then two people, then four, and then eight, and then 16, and 32, and 64. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger before you don't realize what you started. This is your time. This is my time. It's our time. They thought that the bullet would silence us, but they failed. 16-year-old girl who spoke up for the 31 million girls around the world who do not get to go to school. She was shot in the head by the Taliban, but she emerges tonight with her message. Raise up your voice for education.
football team made sure a developmentally disabled teammate got to taste the end zone. I wish for you to stand up for what you care about. want to do something different, shouldn't we also have to think differently? Get all the plastics out and simultaneously remove tons and tons of persistent organic pollutants from the marine environment. Angela's idea was to mix cancer medicine in a polymer that would attach to these nanoparticles nanoparticles that would then attach to cancer cells and show up on an MRI so doctors could see exactly where the tumors are. Then she thought, what if you aimed an infrared light at the tumors to melt the polymer and release the medicine, thus killing the cancer cells while leaving healthy cells completely unharmed? We are at a tipping point in history. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour. And each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. You are still alive. Act like it. 